welcome back to my YouTube channel. So right now I have the Toyota Aqua X Urban. This is the name of the variant of the car. Uh, in this uh, car, there are several kind of variants. Like there is Aqua G, Aqua S, Aqua GS or Aqua uh, XL, and Aqua X Urban and X Urban Solid. So this car I have right here is the X Urban Solid. So this is uh, a 2015 manufacturer year model. This is the newer model which has the newly redesigned uh, front headlamps, also the front bumper, also the placement of your integrators, also the placement of your fog lamps. And <clears throat> in this uh, variant, the fog lamps do doesn't come pre-installed. Like when you buy from Japan, there's an option if you pay for that fog lamps, you can get them installed. But if you want them right now, you can get them also installed from the market from like Pakistan. So right here in the front, we have a uh, projection headlamps uh, that has a very nice kind of a beam like BMW and Audi. And here we have the multi beam reflector uh, high beam lights. And here is a parking light which uh, illuminates as a white light. Uh, you can also uh, turn this light to a, a daytime only light because uh, it runs like a uh, white light. Here we have the Toyota emblem. Uh, here we have two grills uh, for the uh, <coughs> cooling down the car. One uh, right below the emblem and one right here. A massive, massive grill uh, to cool the car. And as you can see, this car is equipped with a sports uh, body kit. The car has front uh, bumper lip. As you can see, it has a, a grayish or silver uh, garnishing right here. And it runs also the side of the car. Like if you come check here, it also runs from this side. You have your side body skirts, your sports body kit right here. And <clears throat> these are the uh, 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 pre-installed uh, alloy wheels that comes on the X Urban Solid. <clears throat> these are the uh, 14 inches alloy wheels. Uh, in the rear, you have drum brakes and in the front, you have a disc brakes and the car is equipped with a lot of technology like ABS, VSA, BA, BSN for brake assist. The car also has HA, hill assist and VSA means stands for vehicle stability assist and the car also comes pre-installed with the sun risers and the car also has the sharpening antenna and the car also has uh, the sports uh, upper body kit on the roof to give a very premium look of the car. <clears throat> Here in the back, you also get the windshield wiper and you also get the windshield washer fluid like right uh, behind the light right here and you have only one option to open the trunk there's uh, there's like not any other button located inside of the interior to open the trunk of the car there's only a but one button located on the trunk and as you can see on the remote you have only lock unlock and that's it when you press this button the boots op the boot opens itself as you can see uh, nice thing about this car, it has the uh, black garnishing that hides all the naked parts, naked holes. And this is <clears throat> a very nice front. As you can see, uh, it has uh, also a, a hanger right here. So you can pull uh, without uh, putting your hand on the uh, body of the trunk. You can just pull your hands right here to pull down the trunk. So guys, right now, if we come in this part of the car, uh, in the previous variant, you used to get a spare tire, but in the newer model, you get a uh, air presser, like air, um, air compressor, uh, and there's a liquid, there's a formation, you have to pull uh, this uh, into the air compressor, and there's a pipe, you attach this pipe to your tire, and, and that's uh, why uh, you get the air in your tire and here is a cigarette lighter and you put this cigarette lighter in your um, cigarette lighter ignition in the car and this owns like this has a switch on and off and this liquids come apart with this and this is the pipe that's attached to the tire and if we talk about the batteries the batteries are not located under this section as you can see the battery is not there the battery is uh, right under beneath the seats this section of the car like in these uh, in, uh, in the 
inner section of these seats uh, the battery is installed let me show you that so guys as you can see uh, under beneath the seat you have a grill cover so this is for the uh, exhaust thing like this for the all the heat to come out because the batteries are situated under beneath the back seats so this uh, grill uh, like takes uh, takes out all the exhaust all the heat that is created by the battery to keep cool uh, down the battery i will not open the rear section uh, because i don't want to get in trouble so at the rear door uh, only the passenger side uh, window is automatic and all the other three are not two in the rear door as you can see one right here one right there and one in the front door uh, right uh, next to the central locking handle and another one right here and here we have some storage compartment and here you have your chrome uh, grill handle and here is your uh, like up and down windows control so if we talk about the headroom of the car uh, I'm like 5'8 and this car has a decent amount of headroom as you can see I'm not having like any kind of difficulties and the other good thing is that uh, the center uh, part of the car has no hump it's a flat uh, like a uh, floor but the thing is that as I told you the car has a battery under beneath these seats so uh, this part is like so much upside when I'm like sitting in this part as you can clearly see my head is freaking uh, touching uh, to the uh, roof of the car as you can see because uh, the center seat is too much upwards but still I have loads amount of uh, like knee room and leg room so I have no difficulties but I will say that the rear seats are best for two adults and one children one kid and you have extra um, holder for your coat or whatever you want you can just uh, like close it or just push this and you can just open that too and you have your armrest for your driver's side and you also have your lights for the rear passengers and you also have the lights for the front passengers you can also adjust the lights to on or off or to the doors when the doors gets open the lights lights up right here as you can see uh, there are some hooks like on uh, both back side of the seats we have extra some coat holders as you can see like in the front and here are some hooks that you can attach your baby's walker like on this or your baby seats uh, on the both sides as you can see they are on both sides and if you talk about uh, these sections like what are these so on both sides like there's a compartment also right there I will open for that you for you guys too this part has the bolt and nut for your rear shocks so in the rear you have your beautifully redesigned all new new shape uh, rear tail light you have your integrated turn signal lights right here you have your brake lamp and uh, you also have your um, reverse lights right here and also you have a high mount uh, brake light right here as I told you uh, this car has um, the rear windshield wiper also this car has the water uh, windshield for the rear windshield and as you can see here is the Toyota emblem here is the aqua badge and here is the hybrid energy drive and here is uh, the camera for the reversing for your car and this is the back sports body kit as you can see this is the rear lip of the back bumper of the car get total about six speakers two in the rear one in the rear door and one also on the other side of the rear door but in the front you get two speakers one a small like a tweeter like they didn't put a tweeter right here they put a kind of a tweeter right next to the door handle and you have a big massive speaker on the front door like this car contains six speakers total so here is your um, uh, chrome door handle for uh, this car has like on all four doors this car has for uh, chrome door handle some sort compartment right here you also have some uh, approximately you can store half liter of bottle in this storage compartment and some storage compartment right here so this car only has two airbags one for the passenger side and one for the driver's side and here is a like this feature like this cross knob close and open like they have stolen uh, this kind of a style uh, like the R Toyota Indus motor has stolen this style from Japanese as you can see this close 
and open. This same, uh, this these same uh, grills comes in your Toyota Corolla Grande and the uh, models of the Corolla. And here is your um, dash one compartment. You have a decent amount of storage compartment right here, and you have another storage compartment right here, as you can see. And here is your auto dual climate control. On the right side, you can like your temperature can get hot or if you move the toggle to the left side you can get the temperature cool and here is your front windshield defrozer and here is your rear windshield defrozer and here is the inside and outside air control and here are the levels to control the air whether you want the air to come from the front grills or the uh, foot grills and here is the air control speed and here is the auto air con button and here's, here is the AC button and here is the uh, fan off button and here are your hazard warnings and the, well, you can see the grills also have chrome garnishing like on these sides too as you can see chrome garnishing over all around the uh, grills and uh, again you have the chrome garnishing right here and at the top you have um your uh, dual lights for your front passengers you can put them on on position or off position or you can set these both lights on door position and here is your sun visors uh, the both sun visors get the mirrors as you can see but uh, I don't like the thing that both sun visors doesn't get uh, lights separately like in Toyota Altus Grand Day but still you have a pretty much decent amount of lights for both passengers on the driver's side again you have sun visors as you can can see and yeah here is your rear mirror of the car and here is uh, the system this is the system and this is the uh, radar and the sensor that uh, like watches the all lane and keeps you in the lane like this car has two kind of features that are very nice like the car can auto brake itself like if the car sees any kind of a pedestrian or a pedestrian walking like like in front of the car or suddenly a bike or a car moves uh, thoroughly uh, in the front of the car the car breaks but still in Pakistan like roads the roads uh, signs are not like situated so the car does find difficulties to read the road and you also have lane departure assist when you change the lanes a car beeps you're changing the lanes so make sure you watch the side mirrors to to avoid getting into accidents and here you have your automatic gear shifter uh, so this this car has a simple automated transmission. This car doesn't has a dual clutch transmission or a CV transmission. This car has five forward gear and one reverse gear. Here is your park. Here is your reverse. Here is your neutral. Here is your drive. And here is your and here are the buttons situated like this is for your traction control as you can see uh, so the car doesn't get slipped the car gives you a very nice uh, control and performances on like curves and on the roads and this is uh, the radar that auto brakes the car as I told you guys uh, like in like in this such amount small of amount of like range in this car this doesn't works as good as it should because the Pakistan's roads are not like quite well because because the roads doesn't has all the signs on the road that the road also doesn't has all the lines so the car does find difficulties to order to maneuver and here is your econ mode and here is your EV mode and here is your electronic parking brake as you can see and sorry here is your uh, liver uh, uh, handbrake as you can see uh, the car doesn't have electronic parking brake and here is your some storage compartment right here and storage compartment right here and here you have dual cup holders for the front passengers and some storage compartment right here too and here as you can see uh, you have your push start button uh, in order to start the car you have to press the brake pedal uh, you push the uh, power button but the car doesn't get started uh, you have to press the brake uh, sorry you have to press your uh, race pedal in order to start the car you press it and the car starts now and when you drive the car the car gets into the uh, hybrid mode and here is your windows control and here are your headlights adjustment as you can see and here is your lane departure your lane assist when you maneuver your lane the car warns you you're changing lanes without watching or you should watch and here is your button for your auto high beam or low beam lights and here is your 
uh, free collision button that uh, gives you a warning like you can turn off this button or turn on this button and you have a storage compartment right here too for storing coins and here is the latch for opening your trunk uh, for opening your hood and here is your latch for opening the fuel tank there are no latches for your trunk you have to only open the trunk from the back door and now as you can see engine has shut off the car the car is running on battery right now as you can see uh, there is no voice of the engine uh, that's the AC fan running let me shut off the AC as you can see the car is purely running on battery the car is not running on uh, gasoline and as you can see on this door panel the only uh, driver's side window is automatic all three others are not and storage compartment right here approximately you can fit a half your bottle right here too uh, speaker right here too also a big massive speaker right here too so here is the instrument gauge cluster of the car as you can uh, see here is your all the speed gauge and your uh, gear selector uh, like I can change the gears for you so uh, I am now like in park in reverse uh, in neutral in so also you have your time and here is the uh, car in a lane so if the car is seeing the proper lanes like the proper painted lanes you will see to uh, another more lines on uh, next to these lines and if the car sees a car coming to hit the car another car will appear next to this car on the screen and this is your battery signature and here is your average kind of a thing the car is now giving right 0, 0.0 because the car is in like stop position the car is not started and you, ha you have your charging mode your eco mode you have your power mode and also your EV mode when you break the car the battery charge and this is the engine of the car as you can see here is your master cylinder I hate the thing in case of emergency if you want to fill up your brake fluid how will you like there's a compartment right here it's unable to like open this so as you can see this is the hybrid energy inverter that charges the battery also runs the wheel of the front wheel of the car and this is the engine of the car this is the hybrid uh, spooded engine and this is your windshield water reservoir here is your radiator cap and here is your air filter uh, suction pipe and this is a 1500 cc engine means 1.5 liter engine this engine produces 84 horsepower and here is the uh, heat garnishing that I very much like like it's not too much like removable and like it does provides a good heat uh, in and here is the radar of the car from the outside that reads all the road